Good evening, it's me again. For those of you that weren't here last night uh, for dinner, my name is Peter Robertson, and I'm chairman of the Board of Trustees of the World Affairs Council. And as you may know, the Global Philanthropy Forum is a project of the World Affairs Council of Northern California. So I've been listening very carefully the last few days, last couple of days, and after, after one of the sessions yesterday, I came out convinced that it's all about corruption. It's all about corruption. If we could just solve that, everything would be fine. And then I went to another session, and I came away convinced that it's all about education. If we solved education, you know, that would solve corruption, and uh, so on and so forth. And then I went to another one, and I came away thinking it's all about leadership. And, uh, you know, I, they're, obviously they're all connected. But I came in here thinking that it's all about leadership, and I think I'm probably going to leave thinking it's all about leadership. And since we're in the company, you know, it's been uh, in the company of uh, some amazing leaders, all of you, for the last few days, I feel truly blessed to have been part of this discussion and conversation. And so I congratulate you on your leadership, because I think at the end of the day, this, a lot of the world's ails that we're talking about are indeed a function of leadership, which of course is a function of education and a function of corruption and all these other things. So anyway, this evening I've got the honor of welcoming the Vodafone Americas Foundation back to the Global Philanthropy Forum for a fifth year to showcase the winners of their wireless innovation project. This competition is designed to promote innovation and increase implementation of wireless related technology to solve pressing global social issues. I should have said it's all about technology, right? In a few minutes, we're going to be introduced to this year's winners a remarkable group of innovators who have harnessed creativity and technology to address global issues, critical global issues. And I can't wait to meet them and hear from them. You also, you also will have the chance to meet them and speak to them individually at the breakfast table talks here in the ballroom tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So it's now my great pleasure to introduce Faye. She told me it's like Italian, Argimandi. So, but uh, it's not really Italian, but Argimandi. Faye Argimandi, president of the Vodafone Americas Foundation and head of Vodafone Zone. Faye joined Vodafone in January 2011, and by September of that year, she had successfully launched Vodafone Zone, the company's new R&D center here in Silicon Valley. It has one goal, to fast track new products delivery to Vodafone's markets around the world. At Vodafone Zone, Faye leads the incubation work with startup companies and also spearheads the partnership work with emerging and disruptive technologies from startup companies to help them develop, test, and prepare for user trial, trials for global markets. Faye is a successful serial entrepreneur. That's another term I've learned since I came here, serial entrepreneur, with experience specializing in wireless communications, software applications, and protocol development. Prior to Vodafone, she was the co-founder and CEO of three technology startups, and as a pragmatic technology innovator, Faye has authored 12 patents, or patents, for, for some of you. Please join me in welcoming Faye Arjumande. Thank you, Peter. Thanks for your kind introduction, and thank you for supporting this event for the, five, uh, for the last five years. Uh, now that I know that I'm standing between you and dinner, I have to be fast. You know, the good thing about having the talk before the dinner is that you get to eat your dinner in peace. The bad thing is that people keep telling you about all the mistakes you make. So this is our last, this is our fifth year of competition. And this year we're also celebrating the 40th anniversary of mobile communication. Today we have 6 billion mobile subscribers worldwide and we have 2 million mobile applications that people are using. And that just happens in four years. Who would have thought that the mobile internet will have such an impact on our lives? Who would have thought that mobile internet would give the voice of every individual the power of global reach? and it gives every penny from each individual the potential of billion dollar opportunity via crowdsourcing. That it unchains the innovation from being proprietary to only selected few large companies. That it unleashes creativity and allows every individual 
to create and have impact in society. Making telephony into personal service have had the largest impact in our society and undoubtedly the most impactful technology for us to use in the industry. Now imagine what will happen when we make the mobile telephony into a personal service, when actually information finds you versus you fetching for information, for interaction between human and machines. We believe that the impact will be much larger than the event of the mobile tel telephony itself. Today, even at the earliest stages of our data journey, most pivotal and highly impactful innovations in developing countries use mobile solutions. Mobile applications have been applied to solve numerous world problems, such as clean water, sanitations and food, vac uh, food or vaccine distribution, mobile money, remote care, and disaster recovery. Vodafone Health Solution have already made an impact in Africa. Nampilo, our mobile platform for caregiver support, is currently being used by thousands of caregivers in rural areas. SMS for Life in Tanzania has helped eliminating the stock of, of malaria medications and the Mezzini platform is enabling communication and co uh, care coordinations for mobile health workers in South Africa. Finally, M-Pesa, our mobile money platform in Tanzania, the system is being offered to women to use to pay for the bus fare in long distance to hospital and in order to get the care that they need. But the reality is just that this is just the beginning. The journey has just started. This is the tip of iceberg, and much, much more can be done. We need to continue to explore partnership, to bring innovation and low-cost solutions to improve quality of life in underserved communities. Vodafone has several R&Ds globally, and we have one right around the corner, literally around the corner here in Redwood Shores, that we call it the incubator zone, Vodafone zone. At Vodafone zone, we look for and develop new impactful solutions and applications that with the help of startups and talented entrepreneurs. Our goal is to deliver solutions that actually impacts and enhances our customers' lives worldwide. Obviously, at Zone, our objective is driven by our commercial needs. Nevertheless, I'm proud to inform you that even our commercial objectives are driven by providing affordable access to information and content to humans and to machine. And will no doubt, we will have a large impact on our society. I'm also most proud that Vodafone Zone is actually homed with Vodafone America's foundation, one of the 28 Vodafone Foundation family. At Foundation, Mobile for Goods is at the, breath of, as, is at the heart of every breath we take. Our goal is to find talented entrepreneurs that want to save major problems globally for our society and empower them with the grant and every asset that we have available to us, including Vodafone Zone resource and our global reach. We want to ensure that we bring their dreams to reality. Our wireless innovation project leverages the latest scientific and technological breakthrough with direct social impact. And with all honesty, this is one of the most rewarding thing in our journey every day at Vodafone. Every year, we're blessed with hundreds of applications for this project. To me, they're all winners. They're all the winners for taking the first step, for caring about the lives of people, 
for wanting to have an impact. So as a result, going through the selection pro process to award the prize to them is quite emotional and a hard one. So in this spirit, I'm, I'm pleased to introduce to you our top three applicants. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you can have the video. It's really exciting to see Vodafone and the judges coming together to select projects that we think are going to have a significant impact that are then going to be rewarded with funding to actually help them get off the ground. Up to one in five children actually doesn't get vaccinated. And most of these children are in developing countries. This translates to 25 million children not receiving vaccines each year. Cold Trace is a mobile phone based uh, temperature sensor. It monitors the temperature of vaccine storage units, everything from cold storage boxes in remote clinics to warehouses where vaccines are stored. One unique aspect of the project is the wireless innovation and how we're able to engineer this device to radically drive down the cost so that it's within reach of limited clinic budgets in rural countries. Preventing vaccine spoilage is one of the most effective ways to ensure more kids get vaccinated. I think mobile technology allows patients to be able to respond to things that they want to change instantaneously, be able to communicate with their physicians and ask for a prescription or a referral, and be able to do that wherever they are. There's people doing great stuff, but they don't have access to the resources that they need to really accelerate the progress. And so the Vodafone Wireless Innovation Project gives them those resources that they can really take it to the next level. We're trying to help everyday citizens determine water quality issues, uh, determine if there's pollution in their streams, if their drinking water is safe. Sometimes water looks like clean, looks like colorless, there's no particle in there, but there could be some invisible toxic material in there people don't know. A lot of people drink the dirty water and get sick because of that reason. Now we provide a sensor to anybody who has a cell phone to measure that invisible chemical. We take the power of benchtop laboratory equipment, but by condensing it into something that can be used with a phone, with a GPS and mobile connectivity, we give it context. So basically, uh, our sensor can allow you to drop the water sample in the sensor, so you can plug the sensor on, uh, through the auto jack of your cell phone and through uh, this phone app, you can basically measure the, the invisible chemicals in the water samples. They can take a sample, they can put it on a map, they can share it with their friends, they can let their community know if their drinking water is safe. What's most inspiring about the Wireless Innovation Project is, I would say, number one, diversity of the opportunities. We cover all multiple sectors. Uh, two, I would say, it's the passion and commitment of the entrepreneurs and the innovators. And then three, uh, how the, they are thinking about the impact side of what they're doing. So this device can uh, integrate multiple optic components in a typical spectrometer into a single device. By shrinking down the spectrometer technology and integrating it with mobile phone, we're going to enable this, this technology to be useful for everyone. And this can open new possibilities in uh, many different applications, including personal health care, color analysis, or chemical and biosensing. Uh, it's been well demonstrated that optical spectroscopy is a viable means for detecting breast cancer. Another application is detecting uh, contaminants in food and water. The engineers and the scientists who we've had the privilege of talking to and interviewing today uh, have got the ideas that really are going to utilize our technology to make the world a better place. The third place goes to G. Fresnel, the cell spectrum from Penn State. Please. Thank you. 
The second place winner is the MobileSense, the mobile water sensor for University of Illinois. I think the first place is very obvious, isn't it? You want to guess? <laughs> it's actually Core Trace for wireless vaccine monitoring. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And before you kick me off the stage, please allow me to um, make a special announcement. You mentioned that, you noticed that I mentioned crowdfunding, and this is the place where I want your mobile phone out. So usually you go to meetings and sem uh, seminars, they ask you to shut it down, but please take it out. This is a partnership with Indiegogo. Obviously you guys all know the world's largest crowdfunding platform. Please vote for our winners, send them email, like them on the Facebook. Obviously, we want them to bring their dreams more to reality and bring their solutions to the users. So this is an advantage. So if you can like them, send uh, more uh, attention to them from the Indiegogo, we appreciate it. And the one that gets the most unique visitor on the Indiegogo uh, website, they also get a cherry on the top from uh, Vodafone America's Foundation, and that is an extra 5,000 award. So I appreciate your work. Thank you very much. <laughs>